bring in the next governor of North Carolina, Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson. Sir, honor to have you back on. Uh, you know, what do you what do you make of uh, Trump's appearance last night? I don't know if you got a chance to catch our, my comments earlier, but he was a stoic individual. It seemed like he had a whole new outlook on life. Hey, uh, thank you for having me here again. It's a pleasure always. But yeah, that was an electric moment. The moment he came out on stage, continued to show his strength, continued to show his uh, his fortitude. That is exactly what this nation needs right now. We are deeply in trouble on our border, overseas, our economy. We need somebody who's going to be able to withstand the pressure to turn this country around. And he showed that last night, and he mm -hmm. certainly showed it on Saturday. Yeah, well, let, let's talk about you a little bit, sir, because, you know, there's a lot of people out there that are just saying out, outlandish things about you, making crazy claims. And all the people I notice that are saying bad things about you are the ones that have conducted bad governance for all of America. What do you say to those critics? You know, that's what they do. Uh, I always like to say it like this. When the other guy doesn't have any legs to stand on, he tries to kick the legs out from underneath the, the person who does. And it's just like my opponent in this race. His policies are terrible. Uh, the policies of his party are ter terrible. They had us in the economic doldrums prior to 2010. Our party got us out of that and got us into a great place, and I'm part of that team. So all he, ha all he can do is try to besmirch my character and sling mud. But we're going to stick to those substantive issues that we know North Carolinians want to hear about, and we're going to take this state to its next great heights, and there's not much he can do about it. Yeah, it's, it almost seems like Democrats, too, are throwing in the towel on, on at least the top of the ticket. Um, down ballot wise, I mean, I think they're focusing a lot of their money to try to salvage what they can. Are you noticing more money f flow into the down ballot races and things like that in your state of North Carolina? Or have they just said, hey, Mark Robinson's, we're not going to beat him anyway? Absolutely. We've seen that trend for a number of years now, investing uh, those folks, those leftists investing into school board races, county commission races, city councils, mayors, sheriff's races. Uh, we've got to push back against that because those mm -hmm. folks can do some huge damage. Uh, but at that top of the ticket, there's not much they can say because, as, they, as I like to say, the proof is in the pudding. Just look sure. at the numbers and you'll see who's best to take office. Yeah. The last thing I want to ask you, sir, I, you know, I've been talking recently a lot about us versus them. Donald Trump clearly emerged as one of us. I mean, he gets it. You consider uh, uh, deeply one of us, sir. And it, it just seems like there is this group of people in the government, state, local, federal, whatever, that thinks they're better than us and we work for them. How do you articulate to somebody who's on the fence to say, dude, these are the sides, pick one? It's, it's really simple. You have to pick people who believe in freedom, and you have to ha pick people who believe in their constituents. It's like I like to say all the time, what we're going to work hard to do in North Carolina, we're going to work hard to streamline government, to make government smaller so that the people can be huge. We know when we remove government impediments from in front of people, they will, number one, do the right thing, and they will do it to an excellent degree. And that's going to be our goal. Shrink the government, grow the people. That always needs to be the goal. Yeah, it just seems like in the movies, everybody roots against the Capitol and for the the districts in the Hunger Games, but in real life, you have 50% of this country seemingly rooting for the Capitol on this one. Lieutenant Governor Mark Robinson, Absolutely. always a pleasure.